So, um, you from Brighton originally then, right? Yeah. You are? Yeah, cool. yeah. And uh, do, you, do you come around the lanes a lot? And yeah, I, I, every day really, yeah. I, I'm free here all the time. Cool. Just to, just to get the pick up on the buzz, really, basically. It's like, geez me up a bit. And the people from the time that they will start walking in the street, they will feel more chill and more relaxed. So they will be more like, uh, easy like to look around. And if you walk a little bit outside of the lanes, you will see that the people that will get in a different uh, movement and will go more fast. And, but here they will chill out. And I think it's a part of us that we have created all this situation that uh, will make the people like to stop and watch and, and feel like that. And yeah, that's it, I suppose. What would you love most about Sneakers Paradise? Uh, the sort of zaniness. The, the lanes has a particularly unique character. Um, it's, uh, and, and so yes, yeah. Have you got a favourite item that you've got from there before? I have a number of items that I bought because I've been buying there ever since it opened. And the fellow that actually owns it, I, I know very well. I've been buying from him for 30, 40 years, so. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so do you know much about the history of the shop and when it was kind of set up? Uh, it used to be John Blundell's department store, a very strange operation that was. No one ever seemed to buy anything in there, not since at least the Silver Jubilee. And um, uh, Frank Thompson, I believe, purchased the building and set it up as a cooperative for antique dealers. And, um, I mean, when you go in Snoopers, I mean, what, what do you like about it? I mean, I don't know, I mean, there's, there's a few little bits and bobs there, you know, I suppose that's what it is, it's, it's, it's just so sort of eclectic, the mix of stuff you can get in there, that's probably it, so, you know, I mean, I'm not not really one for shopping much, do you know what I mean, yeah, but it's yeah. sort of one of the few places I will go and kind of have a little sort of like a browse, if you like, you know, normally I'll just head straight into a shop, know what I'm after, get it and head straight out again. You know, I don't tend to do kind of shopping, per se, but, you know, it's a bit different in there, and also there's, like, different people in there, because obviously I know a few of the guys in there, so, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you had to uh, find a sleeper, what would you say a, a sleeper is? God knows, to be honest. I mean, I, I wouldn't even class myself as one. <laughs> to be totally fair, I'd be almost looking from the outside in. But, I mean, you know, no, there's some sort of odd characters about. And I suppose that is one of the places they do head for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, I suppose it's the closest I could come to that. Yeah, definitely.